Two, go. one, go! Let's do this. <laughs> Shoot them pants yeah. off! Shoot them pants off! <laughs> Die pants! Bye bye! <laughs> I know, right? Oh! <laughs> they are down. What is up, everybody? It is Miss Fadams here, and welcome to episode three, season three of the Monarchy, where things have changed quite significantly here on the island. It's looking as if things might have progressed a little bit. I'm seeing some redwoods in the distance i am seeing a proper snow biome so it looks like we are slowly making our way through time which is super exciting things are still looking a little bit kind of uh old compared to modern arc but uh we're slowly seeing the introduction of a bunch of new dinos which is really exciting uh i've spotted some beavers here we go got some uh cheeky little beaver nests here which is great because that means cementing paste let me just have a little look at these. Are any of them going to be worth taming? So we're still on max level dinos 120. There's a level 44 there. Not going to bother with, with them unless they're pretty good, I think. But yeah, we're going to need uh, a lot of cementing paste today. We're going to have to go and do a little uh, beaver dam run, I think, because myself and the new monarchs, so that is Dread, Bay, and Bob, we uh, we have a plan. We wanted to cause a little bit of trouble here on the server. We want to do some pranking. And we have an idea, which I did talk about in the live stream uh, a week or so ago. We have an idea to de-pants the Raz Clark statue. And we have an idea of how we want to do this. We want to be using the ballista and the catapult, which means I need to craft up a bunch of spears, which, let me have a look. Spears, yeah, these spear bolt things here. As you can see, they need cementing paste. So uh, we're going to go and craft up as much of those as we can. We're going to head over to the statue and we're going to see if we can take it down. I am really excited to do this. I think it's going to be silly. I think it's going to be fun. Looks like we've got another one over here as well. What level are you, my friend? You are a level 16. Poopy level. Yeah, it would be really nice to get a good level beaver, i.e. level 100 plus or something. Because I, at the moment, I'm farming wood by uh, journeyman pickaxe, which is less than ideal. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. I know you're mad. I'm sorry. I need to I need to come and take your things and uh, kill you for your pelt. Sorry about that. <laughs> Another thing that we've got as well is the, uh, the, the pterodons now, which is awesome. Oh, we've got two. Oh, no. Wait, what level are you? Am I gonna am I gonna regret killing you? No, you're getting bloody super quick. Yeah, we've got the pterodons now. Um, I didn't actually put an episode out last week because I was on holiday, which means our level cap has now increased to level 50. And once we got to level, which level was it? Yeah, 38. That was last week. I managed to get the pterodon saddle, which means we can now fly around, which is wonderful. It makes everything so much easier, really, having a flyer. I've been able to go around, get my loot drops a lot easier and things like that. There we go. Let's grab some of those. We've got, like, we've got another another couple here as well. Let's take a peek. Too goddamn fast. That's the problem. Too goddamn fast. Right, maybe I can get a better position over here. I'll park my butt. I'm going to risk it. Probably a terrible idea. Uh, hello. What level are you? You're a level 52. Okay. Well, uh, still not still not great. So uh, I'm going to go down, I'm afraid. I'm going to get pecked to death by my uh, trusty pterodon tartar sauce. Thank you for those of you that... Oh, feck. Thank you uh, to those of you that, um, <laughs> that named some dinos on the uh, Twitch live stream. We do indeed have tartar sauce, the pterodon. He doesn't want to follow me. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Right, let, let's let's kill this beaver so we can get the paste, shall we? You know what? If I grab if I grab the paste out of this one, it's gonna lure the other one over. Oh, I should have left the the pterodon there. Never mind. Okay, there we go. Drop the wood. Grab the stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's it, it's so good to be able to get paste from these now. It was it was a pain having to use my pestle and mortar to uh, craft them up from chitin and stone. There we go. Let's bring that one down. Yeah, it's good. We're getting pelt from these as well. So eventually we can make up some fur armor so that we can explore the new snow biome. 
yeah, I'm going to head on back now so that we can start crafting up these spears. Just on my way back up the river and I've seen this. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, God. <laughs> well, there goes that then. I was going to say, I just saw this yellow drop and that would be amazing if we could grab that. I do have a spare pterodon. So maybe we can grab the pterodon in time, head back, get the yellow drop. So I think you can get your yellow drops level 50, which we are now. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a naked run. Uh, I'll show you the new base as well and a bit of the base is... Uh undergone quite a bit of a change here as you can see we're now in this kind of uh, pvp-esque looking stone box with a really neat little staircase that's going up into the pve area of the base where i'm storing all my dinos and all my breeders the idea is if somebody does raid me from my crown vault they're not going to damage any of these dinos here so there we have it do i have a spare pterodon oh egg do i have a spare pterodon um i do but I know where it is. I've left it down here. Oh, I want to get that drop. I want to go back and get it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to jump. Oh, that hurt me legs. Yeah, things have, uh, things have changed a lot around here. We've been doing quite a bit of live streaming over on Twitch, which has been uh, a lot of uh, a lot of base progress. Let's have a look. This is a male pterodon, but it doesn't have a saddle. What about you? You... Ah, well, there's a spare saddle here, so I could just technically uh, saddle this one up here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's go. Let's go and get this stuff. Can't believe I did that. Classic. I need to put some... Uh, I need to remember to put some parachutes on my hotbar. Yeah. It's probably... I think we were at the foot of the volcano there when we died. Fingers crossed it's still there. All right, looks like the drop's still there. It looks like we got it. Let's go, let's go. Let's hope there's nothing too dangerous around. Ready to eat meat? Yep, there's a Rex. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, are we going to do it? Is the coast clear? Yeah, I think it is. Right, let's go, let's go. What are we going to get? This better be good. After all this fuss, this better be good. 60 out of 100. Oh, <gasps> oh, ow, 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 that hurt. Was that a piranha? Yeah. Hey, 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 look what we got. Look what we got. We got an Ascendant Stego Saddle Blueprint. 91.6 armor. Not incredible, but still, this is going to be great. This is going to be great to bargain with. Also, we got a metal wall sign. That's not amazing. And we've got a laser attachment. I'll keep hold of that. I feel like I could have use for that down the line. Now I've got to go and retrieve Tartar Sauce and the body. And uh, head back to base with all our goods. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. How did I die there? Did my body, like, bounce back up? That looks incredibly painful. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we've, we've, we've got all of that raptor's friends coming in. Oh, no, the bag's down there. Oh, that's all right, then. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the body that's kind of freaked out. Looks like I've accidentally eaten it anyway. Right, are we good? No. Well, uh, yeah, okay, I, I reckon I can risk it. I can risk it. I can risk it. Boom, 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 boom. Right, come on, Tartar Sauce. Let's go home. So we are back at base, and it looks like those four or five beaver downs, we've got 891 cementing paste, which is a fairly decent amount. We've got some pearls, got some rare mushroom and flour as well. Let's have a look at these spear bolts. How many can I make? 19? Yeah, okay. We'll start crafting those up. I think that is probably going to be more than enough. I think everybody is going to be bringing their own ammo. I am super pleased with that Stego Saddle Blueprint. I'm just going to uh, going to store it in the uh, smithy for now. But yeah, having a little look at the base here. So my crown vault is in the middle. I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, folks on the server have their crown vault in the middle like this. The new rules dictate that our crown vault can be only be accessible by two regular wooden doors. So we've got one wooden door here, and then there is a cheeky little wooden door. Uh, where is it? Little side door here. So the idea is that someone's got to break through those to get in. Wooden spikes, which should make it a little bit more difficult. And the element of surprise in the form of some battle carbon yemis, which I'll be putting on aggressive, and they can go around and uh, bite whoever tries to uh, raid my little house here. <laughs> but yeah, a little bit of work needs doing to it, but it's coming on. But yeah, I, I just had a, uh, a Discord message from Bob to say, would I like to trade for a beaver? Bob has been breeding beavers, and since I haven't found a particularly good leveled one today, I figured we would head on over there. 
and check out uh, what Bob's Beavers are looking like. Hello, Bob. Are you in? Bob's Beavers. Okay. This looks like it might be the Beaver Emporium. Although there's a raptor in there as well. Locked. Beavers Bob. Be Beavers Bob's. Bob's Beavers Emporium is locked. Hello. Oh. How are you? Good. Just taking one of the beavers out for a workout. Oh, wow. Who's this? Wood. Yeah. <laughs> Beaver man, Tribe of Bob. Amazing. Uh -huh. Let me get my... Uh, superhero. Let me, let me get my little uh, spyglass out, see what we've got going on here. Inspect, inspecting Bob's beavers. Yeah. Uh, yeah what have we got? Oh, wow. Okay, 30 health. I mean... It's good to have a healthy beaver, I guess. Uh, 28 weight, 27 melee. Hey, this is looking so much better than any of the beavers that I could find today, which were all terrible. <laughs> I told you, when, when you want wood, come to Bob's. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I do Bob's need beavers, wood, so... Um, wood. Um, so, I mean, I, I gave you a pterodon that had good melee yesterday. Is that a good trade? Uh, Are we happy with the pterodon? Let's go check out the Beaver Emporium. Yeah. Let's you go and have the, a look. We got, we got the sign up. I love it. Gotta have marketing, you know. All right. Uh, this is this this guy. This beaver is uh not 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 for sale. Oh. Okay. okay. My personal beaver. That, that's fair enough. I but, understand. Uh, have you got any um like smaller beavers? Yeah, I do. I've uh, like baby beavers. Got big, small, whatever your taste. Okay. Come I'm coming in. Oh. Wow. Oh, look, there's the pterodon that I gave you. It's oh, it's good. looking all right. Little TC melee. Love it. Um, okay, so we have uh, Ladywood and Astroiders. <laughs> yeah, that one. That, this, this is a newer beaver. Um, we haven't quite uh, settled on a name yet. But okay. In the box. In the beaver see, box. Um, how would you like the perfect beaver? I want the perfect beaver. Yeah, that sounds great. Is the perfect beaver. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna go stand outside and uh, check out the perfect beaver. It will be imprinted to you when you throw it out. <gasps> so that'll be your beaver. Oh, it's so small! <gasps> She's a lady! Hey, so on my uh, beginner's guide playthrough, I had a male beaver that I called Justin. So we had Justin Beaver. Oh, I love it. So this is going to be, this is going to be Justine. Okay. Justine like Beaver. It. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah. Now, one thing I found, uh, we don't have the saddle unlocked. We'll get it next week. Yes. Uh, in a couple days. I did see that, yeah. You'll ride that beaver anytime you want. Whistle the beaver uh, where you want it and uh, it'll, get, it'll get the wood. <gasps> well, thank you very much. I guess I'll have to do some practice. Yeah, yeah, practice with the beaver, and um, yeah, if, you, if you want another one, it's, it's better with two, I can tell you that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's, well, maybe it's I'll faster. have to think of something I can trade with you for the second beaver. It's faster. But uh, I had I had three going yesterday, and it, it, it took care of all the wood super quick. Awesome. Well, Bob, thank you so much for that. Absolutely. I really appreciate the trade. I enjoy your beaver. I will enjoy my beaver. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> <laughs> see you see you later for the deep pantsing of the Raz Clock statue. All right, let's get this beaver out and uh, raising, I guess. Oh no, cryosickness! Forgot about that. Okay, well, she's gonna need some food. Is Justine here? I don't have any berries. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's go and grab some of those quickly. And uh, yeah, she's awake. There we go. That didn't take long. Four hours, thirty-three minutes till imprint. That's loads of time. We'll leave a bee for the time being. She's, uh... Yeah, she's maturing quite slowly. I might have to pop back and put another lot of berries in before we do head out. But let me just put some of these away in here. There we go. I'm going to start preparing to head on over to the Raz Clark statue where I'm going to meet Bay, Bob and Dread. Uh, I think they're bringing some ammo and they're bringing the... Um, the machines, the ballista and the whatnot. 
And I'm going to bring some of my own ammo as well, which I crafted up earlier. Where was it? The spear bolts. I think that's all I'm going to need, really. There we go, 16. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'll do for the time being, I think. If I need to make more, then I can. We need, we need to go over and assess how much damage it's going to do per shot, I think. But yeah, let's go on over and check it out. Oh, we're prepared. I like it. Look at this. That's right. Proper angles and everything. Well, that's so, as close as I can get them because of the enemy foundation rule. Oh, yeah, of course. So what have we got? We've got two ballistas and one catapult. So with the um, with the arrows, I believe if they don't break, you can actually retrieve them. This is that? very dramatic pant removing weather. A, hey! Uh, no, angle. I can't. I don't. I mean, I got a leg. That's. I mean, that's See? all we can do, I think. Yeah. Can you actually reach from there, Dread? Can you aim from there? Hop in. Can I hop on? Yeah, hopefully. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh no. Hang on, it's okay. <laughs> um, I think I would have to uh, place it myself though if I was to hop in it. Go okay. for it. Let's give it a go. Is the plan gonna work or are we gonna have to build a giant tower? Cause I got a shot of like behind his knee with that where I had it. Yeah, it. yeah, 210 damage. I can, I can hear a bay. Where are you? Oh, there, there. We're around the back, hello. I'll see if I can bolts, hit it. By the way. You got bolts. Ooh, oh, 700. Oh. Oh, yeah, the, cat the catapult Let's go. is okay. aim, yeah, aim behind the I knee. <laughs> are, are we ready? <laughs> right yeah, behind ready. his knee. Ready? Go. Right. Two, 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 go! Two, one, go! Let's do this. Shoot them <laughs> pants off! Shoot them pants off! Die, pants! Bye bye! I know, right? Oh! <laughs> They are down. I'm getting the Trentonid on. I got right. Who's who's who? He's gonna get around the front first. Are we ready? Oh my goodness! What what is it? It's just an afro. <laughs> Is there? Oh wait, is there anything underneath it? <gasps> There's a thing underneath it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> We're such children. Uh, let's, see if, let's go see if Cap's home. We can. Uh, yeah, we can go get Cap. Cap, are you home? Captain, we come in peace. How you doing? I can't pull up my best. Oh hello. You do. What's going on? Would you have come yeah. to? We've come to show you something. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, look at that. Let's know. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the front was a nice surprise. It's the Emperor's new clothes. <laughs> oh, might have to the chiseled ass of Rathbar. To block the view. <laughs> Better than the front, anyway. I yeah, know, it's it good for a giggle. I'll have to repost it. Did you just say it's somewhere in there? Very How's it? How you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean to do that? <laughs> oh. What happened? It was a good pun. <laughs> it was a good pun. Well done. Well, thank you all for uh, partaking yeah, in the grand pant the removal. I have to say, the yeah. bum's a bit disappointing yeah. as well, isn't it? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a bit it's flat. A bit flat. <laughs> It looks like he's flexing I, to me. Shall I give that an update oh. as well? Yes! Give oh, just going. Please give him a big bottom. Oh, we've, got, we've got to go see Krabby. Yeah, it's Krabby yeah, here. Yeah, it looks like he's clenching his butt. Like. <laughs> Let's get to see Krabby. <laughs> oh, Krabby! Is Krabby on? She's ready uh, to I just signed in. What's up? Hey. Then do you wanna do you wanna come stand uh, uh, stand over here somewhere? Krabby. What's going yeah, on? Nice view outside your house. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing's nothing's <laughs> going on. <laughs> we just wanted to show you something. Surprise! 
<laughs> come, sta come stand out here, Krabby. Oh, well. Oh, it's not very good weather for it, though. That's recording. Okay. Oh, it's just going to yeah. make it even smaller. Oh, did someone remove Rascog's pants? <laughs> Looks that way. <laughs> I just came on to get some spectator, but this is quite the spectator. Oh, I see, I see a little bush. <laughs> Wait, do you see what's Maybe underneath? Can get a manscaped uh, sponsorship out of this. Oh yeah, Rescog manscaped yeah. sponsor, do it. There we go. There we go. Uh, I don't know. It's quite, it's quite trim. I think it's, it's very, you know, well kept. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can wake up to that every morning now, Krabby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Great really. raid! I was like, we can't be all here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I figure now you're all a bunch of pervs, so that makes sense. Yeah, we wanted to do like a new uh, Monarchs I prank. I was no part of this. Comic. Oh yeah, of course no, you oh, were. <laughs> You made it possible. So that is all we have time for today. I think we've had a really productive episode. We have indeed depantsed the Raz Clark statue. I am very much looking forward to seeing his reaction to that. He certainly hasn't noticed just yet anyway. We got ourselves a beaver from Bob. Thanks, Bob. We discovered all of the beaver dams as well. If you would like to catch me before the next episode here on YouTube, you can see me live on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday at 2pm GMT. If you did like the content today, don't forget to like and subscribe. It does really help me out. And until next time, folks, see you later.